What's up everybody? Derek Lambert here with no coffee once again. I am doing a morning musing type of thing if you will. I remember another war story and I was working at a place called Pacern Military Housing on Fort Bragg. I was actually one of the employees who worked on the Pope Air Force Base and uh, my whole job was to clean clean up people's like property, go to parks, pick up trash, that kind of stuff, just keep the community clean and tip top. And I was um, I was on uh, testosterone boosters and steroids when I first started there. So that's a whole side story on talking about that kind of uh, ordeal, but anyway, it takes you on a real high high, right? Testosterone makes you really I don't know, you feel amazing, you wake up, you're like, yeah, everything's great, it's freaking awesome, and then all of a sudden, you, you stop your cycle, and if you don't um, take a post-cycle with some anti-estrogen stuff or something to the effect, your emotional's hell, you're depressed as all get out, mom's been there to witness all this, and um, I ended up getting back on pain meds while I was out there working on Pacern Military Housing. I quit drugs in time to work there to pass the urinalysis then I got back on them when I worked there uh, go figure right well during this time I had stolen money from mom I had taken money out of mom's account and when I took that money out of your account at some point and mind you there was a lot of money that you know over an amount of time that was taken out um, I can't remember how much it was probably this time but I got away with it a couple times before you caught me finally she catches me when she does I actually call the wife and blame the wife because I can't remember why I just there's you know you always blame someone else for your wrongdoings anyway you went 30 and a 50 mama um, Oh, we just left the school zone. Exactly. Did did <laughs> Mama's always right. No, not always. Um, so, I I end up getting caught, right, taking this money, and I think I don't know. I was buying. To give you an idea, at the time of my habit, I was doing five to seven thirty milligram blue Roxies, the Roxa set. So I was doing the blue ones because I had one major connect that would give them to me at a good price and I was buying those. And those are the, uh, practically those are 30 milligram Tylenols, or not Tylenols, but Percocets minus the acetaminophen. So it's just oxycodone pure. No acetaminophen, no Tylenol, no aspirin, no nothing. And um, I was snorting at that time and I had snorted I think four or five blue Roxies. I was so depressed that mom had caught me. I went back out into the field to go clean and I was crying because me and the wife were arguing and mom caught me and all this. And I guess this guy was an ex-police officer, retired police officer, was working the same job I was working. He came up to me. I was like, is everything okay, man? And I turned to him and I'm like, yes. And he goes, what the hell is that on your face? And this is not a joke. This is a real, real story. I was crying, so my nasal passage was just releasing fluids, right? Well, I had all the blue Roxies in my nose, so I had blue snot running down my face. All this. I had a blue mustache and, and, and beard type thing. He's like, what is that on your face? And I touched and I could feel the gritty grains of the of the medicine, you know? And I was just like, oh, I've been sick and this is a new nasal medicine that I've been taking because I'm sick. Dude, I had blue Roxy running all down my face. Now, the funny part, I guess, not so funny, but funny part is, is I had an excuse, as we always do. We always lie our way out. But um, I was actually napping on that job from nodding out from the medications at lunchtime in my own personal vehicle. I found a hiding spot at this gym on Pope Air Force Base. And um, I would park and I would nod out and uh, just sit there because I was tired from the medicine. One day I get this knock on the window while I was sleeping just... And... Um, 
I woke up and looked and I knew because I had already been warned not to nap. See, it's not the first time they had known that I had napped during lunch. Well, it wasn't just during lunch, but you know, I told him I was taking a nap during lunch. Who says you can't take a nap during your lunch break, right? Well, I get this knock and it's my boss. And my boss is telling me, right off the bat, he looked at me and he said, okay, you got a choice. You can go home right now and quit, or you can go home right now, return in the morning and get fired. And I was just like, I had a pillow with me too, in my vehicle at all times to go nap it, to nap to. Cause it was already something I routinely planned on doing. And that was a good job. I, I ruined it. I've actually ruined quite a few jobs for my addiction. And that's just one of them. But Blue Smurth, Roxy, Runny Nose, Snot, Cot Stillin' for Mom, Argue with Wife, Life is in Shambles, Life is Unmanageable, and I am powerless over this substance called painkiller, opi opioids, opiates, heroin, whatever you want to call it. Like, share, subscribe, rewiredaddiction.com. Say hey, Mom. Hey, good morning. <laughs> Love y'all. Another story to come. Later.